In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can integrate ln of 3x. So we have our integral there. And the fundamental problem is, if you simply say u equals 3x and try and integrate it that way, it's not going to work. That's why a lot of people get stuck on this one. So what we actually have to do is do something quite clever and realize that the integral of ln 3x is the same as the integral of 1 times ln 3x, because multiplying by 1 doesn't actually change the integration. And you think, well, what's the point of doing that? You've not really changed it. But you've actually changed it very slightly. It's now two things multiplied by each other. And as a result, we can use integration by parts. And the integration by parts formula says that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And so we need to work out what our u is and work out what our dv is. So this here is going to be our u times dv, but we have to decide which is u and which is dv. And it's best to select u as ln 3x and dv as um, 1. The problem is if you selected v as ln 3x, you're going to have to integrate that. And well, the point is to find the integral of this, which we don't know. So you have to take u as being this one. So we're going to find du and v. So to find du, we have to find the derivative of this, and you're going to have to use the chain rule. So you, the derivative of the outside is going to be 1 over 3x, and the derivative of the inside function here is going to be 3. And of course, that is going to simplify down to 1 over x. And we've got dv here. We need to find the integral in order to turn dv into v. And that gives us that v equals x. So we now have everything we need to do the substitution. We know u, which is this. We know dv, which is this. We found u and v. There's v. Um, and u is what we chose here. And we've got the integral of v. We found v. And we've got du as this expression. So we just stick all this into our integral, um, integration by parts formula. And this is the result that we get. This is just substituting all of this into here. And it gives this result. There is some simple cancellation, so we can do some work on here and realize that this x comes to the front, so you've got this nice expression here, and that x times 1 over x is going to cancel, so you're just doing the integral of dx. And the integral of dx is, of course, just going to be x. So we get this expression, and this is our final answer. So just integrated this dx and got x and added the constant of integration. And there is our final answer. So the trick is simply to use integration by parts. Hope this video was helpful to you and you can now integrate ln3x. Thank you very much for watching.